Hi, this is Jen Schaefer. Thank you for joining me as I continue on with my planner series. This is the second week of May, and I'm going to continue to use these adorable headers from Jack and Jackson Pepper on Etsy. This week's theme is Mother's Day, using several creature stamps from Lawn Fawn. My plan is to go with a monochrome brown color scheme that will end up adding in some red later. Because I want to use mostly brown colors, I choose two very similar browns from the Jackson Pepper stickers to use for this week. I place them where I normally do, with today, then to do, then little things. When I was finished with the headers, I moved on to adding the heart banner checklist to my to-do section. I love how these match the headers and fill in the section well. They also leave plenty of space so that even days with a lot of small items are filled in well. The corresponding dots will work great for marking things in the today section, especially since the circle is large enough to fill in a time. I'm adding one in for each event I know I have planned this week, though there's still some plans up in the air. When I finish with this, I can fill in the plans and items to do that I have this week. My next task is to highlight several things this week as well as add in my next week section. I decide to use the yellow banner stickers that come in the Erin Condren. They don't match perfectly, but it's close enough for me. Like I said before, this week includes Mother's Day on Sunday. We're also celebrating 26 weeks pregnant, which means we're almost into our third trimester, so we're very excited. I filled in each of these banners with my Signo Uniball white gel pen. My next step is to work on decorations. This week I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn, or several Lawn Fawn stamp sets. The first set, set, which also gave me the idea for the week, is a set called Mom Plus Me. It features several adorable animals and sayings. From this set, I'm going to use the mother and child fox and the owl pairs, as well as the individual young owl. I'll end up using the individual young fox as well. From the cute baby shower theme stamp set called Hello Baby, I'm going to be using the large and small bunny pair. As I pick stamps, I'm doing my best to fill in space on the individual labels of my Avery sticker paper so that I don't waste any space and also don't need to fit stickers back together by overlapping several labels. My next mother and child pair I'm going to be using are the elephants from the set Elfie Selfie. Because I have used up most of the space on the first label and the elephants are rather large, I move on to the next one. I thought this mother and child would work perfectly for a place in my planner that has a lot of white space because they're on the larger side compared to a lot of the other stamps I'm using for this layout. I also stamped the adorable little mouse from this stamp set. It's so cute, plus I have the perfect stamp set to give it a mom. The last set I'm going to be using to come up with a mother-child pair is a set Merry Christ Mouse from a collaboration between Lawn Fawn and Simon Says Stamp. There's a mouse from the set that does not have any Christmas-themed accessories that I think matches the baby mouse very well. Because there's still some empty space, I went back to Mom Plus Me and added in the young fox as well. As I said before, my color scheme this week is mostly browns with a little red. So I want to make as many of my creatures some shade of brown as I can. The set of my colored pencils only has two shades though, sienna brown and dark brown. So I'm going to use these as well as black and orange to get a wide variety of shades. For my first set of animals, the owls, I'm going to be using two shades, both or just the two shades of brown. I start with an overall layer of sienna brown, trying to keep the face lighter than the rest of the bird and the babies a little lighter than the mom. I like to distinguish the children from the mom this way because it helps separate them visually in cases where they are touching. I also think it gives them a younger look because pastels and lighter colors are generally associated with youth and childhood, and it even incur occurs in nature this way sometimes. I'll continue to add depth by adding even more layers to what I already have. I'll repeat the same type of process for the remaining animals. For the foxes, I added an orange in addition to the browns of the fur color to more closely re resemble the natural color of foxes. You still get a brown look, even with the additional color. I also ended up using orange on the beaks of the and feet of the owls. For the rabbits, I wanted to go with a nice light beige. To accomplish this, I did a single layer of the sienna brown over the whole rabbit, then added just a little shading. I tried to keep the coloring as smooth as possible, but was careful not to add too much color while doing this. For the elephants, I used both sienna brown and dark brown. Then I even added a light layer of black to the body and shadows. This is a small change that added in variation to the color. I also attempted to keep this coloring a little more on the pastel side with light layers. For the pair of mice, I went with a warm gray-brown by using several layers of dark brown and black. I went a little heavier with the layers than on the elephants to increase the color difference. It was also at this point I decided, decided to add in red and used it to fill in the ears on several of the creatures. When I was done coloring, I cut apart the creatures and set them aside. Then I returned to my planner. 
I realized the bottom of the planner was very empty, and know that I don't use this to, f I don't do much to fill in at this point beyond adding in my steps. So I pulled out some thin washi tape from Recollections and decided to use it to fill in some of the empty space towards the bottom, by adding in two stripes like I've done before. I unfortunately do not have brown washi tape at this time, but thought the orange would work well um, because it matches the orange on the foxes and the owls. Next, I started in to fill in my planner with decorations. Sorry it's a little off-center, I'll fix that in a second. I started with placing my elephants because they are the largest and I had a pretty good idea where I wanted them to go. Then I proceeded to fill in each set of animals where I thought it would fit the best. As I'm putting these animals in, I started to realize that there's a lot of white space still. I like white space in my planner, but this is a bit too much for me. So as I started to stick down my animals, I thought about what I could add in. I have a few more animal pairs I could include, but didn't think this was the route I wanted to go. My next thought was love. Mother's Day to me is all about showing your mother love. And the symbol for love is a heart. A shape that's great for filling in space, as well as going with my accent color of red. With my animal stickers in place, I moved on to adding my steps section. I used a small open heart from Hello Baby to decorate this area, adding a small heart to each side, leaving space to fill in my steps. Then, off camera, I stamped and colored a few more images. I started with a few extra baby mice from Elfie Selfie because this space was still very empty. Then I stamped, colored, and cut out several of the large hearts from the same stamp set and started placing them all over the layout, wherever I thought needed filled in. I really think this addition significantly improved the layout and gives it more the feeling I was going for. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed my latest planner episode. Be sure to check the description for further details, and I hope to see you again next time.